Welcome to Provia. I'm here with Conrad Mass. My name is Todd Gibson, and we're in the installation support team here at Provia. And today we'd like to show you some things about installing a replacement window. Getting a quality installation means you're going to have a quality measure. So when you're measuring this window, we're going to measure the opening from inside to inside, from the shortest point of the sill here to the inner part. Now we're concentrating today on a double hung window. When you're measuring this window, you're going to handle the cutback of this window to leave yourself enough space to shim and insulate properly. If we don't leave ourselves enough space, then we're going to have a bad effect in the end. Making sure that we leave 3 eighths of an inch to a half inch so we can shim and insulate is very important. If this frame is out of square, you have to account for that. If you want to use a head expander, you're going to have to account for that in your system also. Now when we do a head expander from Provia, it's an optional product. So if you want a head expander, you're going to have to order the head expander with the window. But all in all, make sure that the window fits the opening well and you have plenty of room to manipulate the window inside that opening. Now that we've established our window sizing, we're going to remove the package from the window. Now in the package, you're going to have certain things. The sill expander, you're going to have a head expander on the window. And this window we ordered with a head expander, but they don't come standard with that. In addition to that, you have installation screws. The product installation that we've chosen here is a pocket installation against existing exterior stops. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and prep this window a little bit by removing those top stops to expose the installation screws. So that way when we set this window in place, we're ready to go with the installation screws. All the window preparation is pretty much done, so now we're just going to check our sill for level. This gives us an idea of where this sill is laying, and now we're preparing to shim the bottom side of this. Now we shim at the sill, one, to cover up any imperfections of that sill, raise it up. We don't want to have that sill humped up in the middle after the installation. So shimming under this brings it up, allows us to level the window in the opening, and then we can move forward from there. After setting the shims, the next thing we're going to do is backcock the stop so we can set the window. Now we're going to set the window on top of the shims in the opening. Once we get it set in the opening, then we're going to open these sash just a little bit, the top and the bottom sash, to give us a reveal so we can look at the top margin there and the bottom margin as we're shimming and adjusting this window. That just kind of gives us an insight on whether the window is going to be square in the hole and how it's going to function. When we're shimming this window, we're using shims and pairs like you're supposed to to evenly move the window frame. One of the things when shimming this window, we don't want to roll the frame of the window. So one heavy portion of the shim in the back, one light portion of the in the front, and then go ahead and move this. Now we're going to shim this window in place evenly on both sides. This allows us to center the window, and all the time you're shimming, you're always keeping an eye on those margins because you're moving this frame around. We want to shim above the top screw locations in the frame. Now we can secure this location with screws. Be very careful to monitor your margins while you're putting screws in this window. Notice how we're feeling and touching the window to see how far we're actually pulling it. Now we can test the top sash for movement in that top margin to see how tight it is. And now we can move on to the bottom sash. Again, we're going to adjust the window to look at this margin so we get a good feel for it. And then we're going to go ahead and start applying some shims. Centering the window carefully, then again using the opposing shims. Be careful again not to roll this frame when you're putting these shims in. Go ahead and remove the instructions and the touch-up. Reserve those later to hand to the customer. Now we can apply the screws. Make sure that we do not over torque these. We don't want to roll the frame of the window. Now as you're doing this, he may move the window up and down to check his margins as he's going to make sure they're clean in between the screw locations. That one looks good. We're going to go ahead and put the second screw in. Once you've got the top and the bottom fastened, now we can tip the sash in. We have adjuster screws that go to the jam jacks on either side of this unit. Now adjust these. Again, you're adjusting them one at a time, checking your margins as you're adjusting them. What we're trying to do is get it nice and tight, up and down, and make it very even all the way up and down the sash. Now he's going to go ahead and apply some shims in this area. When he's shimming this area, we want to try to prevent the rolling of this frame back and forth. So if we roll this frame, especially at the meeting rail area, it's going to cause a lot of problems down the road for us. So install your shims, working against each other again, 
and then after we install these shims, we're going to go ahead and install the installation screws at this location as well. As you're adjusting and testing this window, you need to keep in mind that we produce our windows to perform to our testing specifications. That means, on average, our window is going to be a little bit tighter running up and down this opening than the standard window. The latches that we're working on now can be adjusted, so if this window doesn't happen to fall quite right, the tilt latch can be adjusted. It is hidden behind the interlock. Those screws that he's loosening now allow you to adjust this side to side to accommodate the window and then lock the latch and let it slide into place. After you've done that, you can go ahead, open the window back up, and re-secure that latch. Now we want to do this with a hand screwdriver. Over torquing this screw can cause real problems with the interlock. So be very gentle here. With the window now complete, now we can go ahead and replace the sash stops over the top. So now we're prepared to foam this window in place. We're going to insulate this with foam all the way around the perimeter of the window. Now this allows for nice even foam distribution that won't be pushing this frame. You know, always use the low expansion foam. Let it cure and then you can trim out the inside of the window. Now we're going to move the exterior of the window to install the sill extender. The sill extender installs in the accessory groove on the bottom of the window. You will receive a full extender that you'll have to measure from the accessory groove to the sill angle and then go ahead and rip that down. Once you've ripped it down, then you can insulate under that window. We want to make sure that the window sill is not bowed after the insulation process. Then we can go forward with installing the sill extender. Thanks for investing your time with us today. Thanks for watching our informational video on installation of double hung windows. For more information, please visit Provia.com.